New York City has a new super tall skyscraper, and it's not where you think. It is characterized by its renowned landmarks, towering high rises, and worldwide allure. Manhattan has held a dominant position among New York City's boroughs for more than a century. But this new skyscraper has quickly become one of, if not the most visible structures on the Brooklyn skyline. Due to the exorbitant cost of living and the dwindling availability of land in Manhattan, Brooklyn is currently undergoing a contemporary revival following the rezoning of the neighborhood to allow larger buildings in 2004. Brooklyn has become an attractive magnet for developers, enterprises, and residents alike, all converging toward a landmark tower project that promises to reshape its cityscape. The new skyscraper is kind of like the Empire State Building of Brooklyn. It is defined by an extraordinary black and stainless steel, copper, and bronze facade that integrates a 115-year-old bank that was already on the site. Join us today as we explore this new mega project and uncover all its fascinating details. Before we start, be sure to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Brooklyn's answer to Manhattan's attention-grabbing skyline is a new super tall tower. Indeed, the spotlight may very well shift in this skyscraper's direction. Now that it's completed at 93 stories and 1,660 feet tall, the Brooklyn Tower is the first super tall building in Brooklyn, as well as the tallest building in Brooklyn and the tallest in New York City outside Manhattan. The next tallest tower in the borough, the nearby Brooklyn Point condo, is almost 350 feet shorter than the Brooklyn Tower. Located in downtown Brooklyn near Fort Greene Park, the Brooklyn Tower is like something out of Marvel Studios' depiction of Asgard. Anyone who's seen Thor and its sequels might catch this reference. A majestic skyscraper with jagged edges shimmering in gold. The mixed-use tower will contain residential units and over 100,000 square feet of retail space at its base. The project incorporates the historic Dine Savings Bank at the base of the property. The bank building was built in 1906, and the original building, which operated as Dime Savings Bank's main branch for over a century, was expanded in 1931. The bank was sold off in 2014, and the Brooklyn Tower was constructed as an annex to the Dime Savings Bank. The bank is a landmark structure whose exquisite interiors now serve as retail and amenity space for Brooklyn Tower's residents. Brooklyn Tower began construction back in 2018 and was developed by GDS Development Group. It cost a reported $750 million to develop. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic in New York City, the building's completion was pushed back by around four months. The concrete core had reached 28 stories by November 2020. The skyscraper reached its halfway point in April 2020. As of July 2021, the Brooklyn Tower had surpassed 721 feet making it the tallest building in Brooklyn. By February 2022, the Facad installation had reached the upper residential floors, and the tower's crown was completed in February 2023. The super-tall skyscraper topped out in March 2023, but the intricate planning of its exterior, featuring the black and bronze facade, was only recently completed. Some think the super-tall skyscraper is a beautiful addition to the Brooklyn skyline, while others gave it a 1 out of 10 saying its distinct form and dark color give off evil vibes. This has led some in the city to compare the building to the architecture of Sauron's Dark Fortress, a tower in Peter Jackson's film adaptation of the Lord of the Rings novels. The tower's exterior is clad in stone, bronze, and stainless steel, with hexagonal shafts interspersed throughout the facade. The design of the Dine Savings Bank building inspired that of the tower, in particular, the hexagonal shape of the banking hall inspired the hexagonal massing of the tower. Designed by shop architects, the skyscraper features black and stainless panels running from the top of the tower towards the bottom, where it meets the preserved historic Dine Savings Bank, which has been integrated into the tower's podium. Running the length of the tower are bronze and copper pilasters that give definition to the black facade, which at certain points comes to edges, creating a staggered appearance due to its hexagonal shape. On the outside, the tower is always seen with at least two faces, as opposed to one or two faces, with rectangular slabs or square point towers. This was a reference to older Art Deco skyscrapers, such as the Chrysler Building and Rockefeller Center. The hexagonal plan resulted in living rooms with 130 degrees corners rather than right angles. The base of the tower is clad in white marble, reflecting the bank. The tower also has a number of wind floors throughout its length that allow heavy gusts to pass through without rocking the massive structure. Inside, 
the Art Deco design of the Dine Savings Bank has been carried through many of the public spaces. Elements from the interior of the historic bank, including the hexagonal shapes, geometric patterning, and rich materials, have influenced much of the tower's interior design. The residential skyscraper has more than 500 residences. The tower section accommodates approximately 150 condominiums and 425 rental apartments, totaling roughly 466,000 square feet. The 150 condos, which occupy everything from the 53rd floor upwards, range from $875,000 for a studio to $8 million for a four-bedroom. But 30% of the building's rental units will be affordable housing. All residential units boast neo-art deco design inspired by the architecture of the Dimes Bank. The building also includes 120,000 square feet of amenity spaces, some of which are within the Dimes Savings Bank. The tower features multiple entrances, one directly from the street and another through the renovated bank, which has become a retail and pedestrian space. The terrace surrounding the iconic Guastavino Design Dome will have three swimming pools featuring a 75-foot-long adult lap pool, a kid's pool, and a whirlpool. There's also a sun deck along with a hammock lounge and an outdoor dining area. The Sky Park, located on the 66th floor, will include a basketball court high in the air, where players seemingly float across the city on their way to the hoop. This would be the highest basketball court built anywhere in the world, not accounting for altitude. There is also a dog run, an outdoor playground, and a rooftop park. There will be an array of more amenities, including a movie theater, gym, billiard room, children's playroom, and co-working spaces and conference rooms for remote workers. Renters get access to all the amenities except the fifth floor sky lounge, which is reserved for condo owners. While the Brooklyn Tower is far from Brooklyn's first skyscraper, it is the first that truly feels competitive when placed in the context of New York City's High Line. The first super tall building outside of Manhattan is likely to ignite similar projects in Brooklyn, particularly as the cost of living forces many to look beyond Manhattan. These projects will benefit businesses and residents in downtown Brooklyn, a neighborhood that deserves to flourish. There is a sense of pride that comes along with Brooklyn, beginning to contribute to New York City skyscrapers, and this new tower is set to redefine the budding Brooklyn skyline for years to come. What are your thoughts about the skyscraper? Leave your opinions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.